Who were the New Testament texts written for? How would these texts have affected their lives? To try to answer these questions, I went to Philippi in northeastern Greece. By Paul's day, it was a Roman colony. About a hundred years before his time, all the farmland had been taken and given to Roman soldiers who were retiring after a battle nearby. In Paul's time, Romans still owned the great majority of the farmland and controlled everything about the running of the city, even though, as a town in northeastern Greece, the population was probably mainly Greek. St Paul wrote a letter to the fairly small group of Christians living in this town. And he covered various topics which relate in interesting ways to the context in Philippi. For instance, he talks about heavenly citizenship, which he says is to govern how the Christians live and think. How would that have sounded to the kinds of people in the Christian group in Philippi? Well, we know some names of some of these Christians from the letter. Uh, there's Euodia and Syntyche, two Greek women, Epaphroditus, a Greek man, and Clement, a Roman. And this kind of ethnic mix is about what you'd expect in the town. Um, a mix of Greek and Romans, but predominantly Greeks. What was the situation about citizenship in the town? When the colony was formed, all the Greeks lost their citizenship. Only Romans were citizens in the Roman colony. Even by Paul's time, hardly any of the Greeks would have gained the Roman citizenship that was needed to be a citizen of Philippi. Paul writes, telling them of citizenship of heaven and calling them to live by that. For the Greek Christians, they were being told about a citizenship, that the citizenship that really mattered was one that belonged to them, irrespective of what the Roman authorities did. For the Roman Christians, they were being told about another citizenship much more significant than their Roman citizenship. For all the Christians together, Greek and Roman, the news of heavenly citizenship which belonged to all of them should dismantle the key barrier between ethnic groups in Philippi. In Christ, they are heavenly citizens, all one group. I've learned a lot from Philippi and continue to do so. However, there is a limitation on the site. The houses are only preserved up to kind of so high and there's no wall decoration or loose finds. To find more detail about the lives of ordinary first century people, the kind of people the New Testament texts were written for, I had to go on from there to another site where there was better preserved housing. And that took me to Pompeii. At Pompeii, uh, we had the uh, great privilege of spending a whole week, in fact twice, spending a week in one block of houses. And we were looking through, looking at all the way the rooms were laid out, the wall decoration. We had a catalogue of everything found, thousands of things found in all these rooms. Uh, I used that to try and build a picture of the lives of the kinds of people living in Pompeii. And then I thought about uh, St Paul's letter to the Romans and how the issues in that letter might relate to the kinds of lives of people in these, the sort of people who lived in these houses, even, we know, even though we know that none of these particular people were Christians, they were the kind of social level of the Christians. For instance, when Paul calls people to honour one another, um, this is a sort of thing which, thinking about the way these houses worked and the sets of people in there, you'd quite, you'd normally have, say, the slaves honouring the owners or things, or the women honouring the men or the children honouring the parents, but Paul's calling them to honour each other sort of mutually, and this sort of radical change in the, uh, in the sort of structure of relationships, I think, in, in those terms, although there are still slaves and things, but I think it helps us to understand the way that Paul's rhetoric works better in the letter by earthing it in the lives of these first century people who we have phenomenally detailed evidence about now through all the stuff found in these houses in Pompeii.